what's going on y'all welcome to my channel retro madness and this these are the pickups for the month of january um my last pickup video uh it kind of my camera was all being janky and stuff so there's a couple of pickups that i did record but it never got recorded so i'm gonna show those real quick and then i'll go on with the rest of my pickups so uh my camera cut off right when i was kind of talking about this so i just want to quickly just show this uh, this was the Dreamcast pickup, uh, Evolution. Um, I know there's a second game, Evolution 2. So I do want to uh, make, uh, pick that up eventually too. That one's a little bit more pricier. I got this for like 20 bucks. I think that's what I paid on eBay. So just want to quickly show that. So, And then this one I completely forgot to uh, showcase, uh, show. Um, it was in my PS5. I just completely forgot. It was next to my TV. So uh, Valkyrie Elysium. I'm currently playing this game. Um, you know, it's it's good. Uh, the disc, the disc in the PS5. So, I got this on GameFly for uh, thirty bucks, and it's okay. It's a good price uh, with the fact that it, this only came out quite recently. Um, but honestly, if I were you guys, if you guys are looking to pick this up, I would wait. This game, I guarantee you, will eventually be a fifteen dollar game. Um, it's not a, it's like I said, it's not bad, but it's super short. It's like nine chapters long. And in my experience with Square Enix games, if it's not like super popular, uh, eventually this will drop down. So within this year, I think middle of this year, maybe end of this year, it's be like a 10 to $15 game. So just wait on this and then pick it up, pick it up later. So there was that. And this one, I, co uh, I didn't, it didn't end up because I guess I wasn't recording. Um, I bought a couple of games on the website of Xseed during it was like the holiday season and like near the end of the Black Friday stuff so I'm going to show it here but this was technically supposed to be in last uh, last pickup video and that was Rune Factory 5 this is on Xseed's website so all brand new uh, the main reason why I picked it up Grand Blue Fantasy Versus um, Gungrave VR and then Earth Defense 4.1. Um, I got this for 10 bucks. Uh, 10 for this also, which is a decent price. The Earth Defense for it is worth about 10 bucks. The Grand Blue Fantasy. I was really picking it up for this game. This went down to $15 on their website. And that's a pretty good price for this game, honestly. Um, I normally, I think the cheapest I've ever seen it was like near the 25, 20 mark, like really 25 pre owned. So to get it for 15 it was a good price. The reason why I ended up picking up like Rune Factory, this was like, I think it was like $30 or $25. The reason why, because I normally would have waited, because I know like this game eventually I'd get it for like 20 bucks, was it was free shipping, if I believe if it was like 60 or 50 some dollars. So all together, I think it averaged out to like 16 bucks a game or 15 or something like that. For that price, I thought it was pretty good. So there was that. And everything else is pretty much as of right now. Um... There's this one too, SNK Heroines. I got this game for uh, $15.99 um, and I used my $5 off a month. And I got this, I think it cost me basically about 11 bucks, 11 or $12. And uh, the, the thing is this came in loose. I bought this like back in, I think it was like October or November. And uh, the reason why I'm showing it now is I was at uh, GameStop looking for a copy of the NIS uh, Prinny's, uh, uh, Prinny Presents. That thing went down to uh, $22 and I couldn't find it there, but I did see a copy of this. So they let me swap my loose copy for this. So now that I got this complete. So that's why I'm showing it in this video. So, But, uh, you know, sometimes, like I said, even if you do end up getting the loose one, keep them. If they're common enough, this is not really a common game, but... You never know, you might be able to find the cases and you know, all together it's cost me $11 for a Switch game and a pretty niche game too at that. So SNK Heroines, happy to have that. Let's start with these. Uh, these were a pawn shop pickup, all right here. Um, I got all of these for, what did I pay, 50 some dollars? I got the receipt here, one second. I paid $48.96, so 49, it's about 50 bucks for what was, how many games did I end up picking up? It was 
three, six, seven, uh, eight games. There's seven games right here. There was also Ghost of Tsushima. And when I did the math, I think it came up to like $8 a game or $7, whatever it was. So my average for all these games were about $7 to $8. And that's really, really good for what I got. Um, I sold Ghost of Tsushima. I already have that game on the PS5. I have the director's cut. And I got the PlayStation 4 version at this pawn shop. So I sold that. Um, I'm going to most likely sell these two right here. Uh, Gears 5 and then Marvel vs. Capcom. I have both of these games. I have the one on the Xbox One. This is the PS4 Steelbook Edition. This is selling for like 20 some odd dollars. So this will pretty much be sold. Uh, Gears 5. I have Gears 5, but I just have the standard edition. This is the ultimate edition with this nice Steelbook. And this one's got some value to it. I didn't see any kind of DLC code. It looks like just a regular Gears 5, but I guess, well it says it right here actually. It says Gears 5 Ultimate Edition includes Ultimate Edition content pack and 30 days boost. So I guess there is something extra about the Ultimate Edition. I'm not sure, but it's selling for close to 40 bucks. And this costed me about seven or eight. So I'm pretty much gonna sell this, sell that. I already sold Ghost of Tsushima. I should be able to not only to get my money back, but also, um, be, but also be able to uh, get some extra money too. So I um, ended up with, oh, these are the two copies. I already have these. I don't know why I just put it there. But those are the ones that I already have. But these, what I ended up keeping was basically these three games. I might I might keep the Gears 5 and the Marvel vs. Capcom. I'm debating. If I do keep it up, keep it. And with Ghost of Tsushima already sold, I think I made like, after after fees and shipping, I think I made like 15 or 16 bucks. This will cost me like 4 or $5. So I might still keep those. I'm still debating on that. But um, I ended up basically keeping It Takes Two. I was actually looking... Uh, I actually had this game in my cart during the 50% uh, off sale on GameStop. So I'm happy to actually have that. This actually ended up not only being cheaper in general, but end up free for me, right? So I do want to play this. It takes two. Um, I want to grab a few more co-op games because I have so many games and every time I, I get asked to play a co-op game in, I end up just struggling to find some, which is kind of silly. Uh, so I wanted to grab this because I want a co-op game. And another co-op game, which I also had in my GameStop cart, uh, this ended up being cheaper, well, free now. Uh, a way out, another co-op game. Um, I do look forward to playing this. So, happy to grab both of those. I know it takes two. Uh, this one right here was like a uh, game of the year, I think, last year. Well, technically, the year prior, 2021. But um, you know, I'm happy to grab those two. Another one, just you know, went ahead through this and this is worth about that much. Uh, Fallout 4. I didn't have it, and I was trying to. Uh, they, they basically do like a buy two get one free at that pawn shop pretty much all year long and so you just try to add it up do your average and then find out what you can sell and that's usually how I end up buying games at that pawn shop I got a few games from that place so happy to grab those um, let's start here uh, surviving the aftermath um, I was at GameStop and I, I noticed they still had some they still had a few clearance games I think officially now they might have they might be done with it but during this time they had this i think this was extra 20 percent off i think out of the out the door i paid seven or eight dollars so for that price i was like i'll go ahead and add this this is what's worth some money on ebay it's funny how some things are clearanced out and you'll get it for like you know five to eight dollars but it's still worth 20 on ebay so there's that um let's see horgy and friends i don't know if i said that name right it's an access game i saw this actually on um uh, Radical Reggie, uh, one of his videos, and I noticed it immediately. This is like a, a shoot 'em up, but kind of an easier uh, kind of shoot 'em up. Um, I think I paid fifteen dollars on Amazon. It went on a pretty good sale over there. So yeah, for that price, a brand new, you know, sealed Switch game, you know, cool. So um, there was a couple of good sales actually with some of the in-in games, and I, I messed up and I didn't pick it up on time. I' a little bit sad about that, but it happened. So. Uh, Gamefly, another Gamefly pickup, Timesia. I'm not sure I know too much about this, but it looks pretty cool. I think I paid uh, 12 to 13 dollars, or maybe it was like I think it was under 15. I I gotta start writing these down. I, I think I kept one receipt for this, and then I just forgot the rest. But it was like 15 and under, so cool little pickup right there. This was the main reason why I was picking up on uh, on Gamefly. It was actually this, and I just added Timesia. Was the quarry. I actually had the PS4 copy in cart as I was trying to uh, 
uh, purchase it, it just sold out on me. So I went and got the Series X, which doesn't mean nothing to me. I don't care. I just want. What's important is if you're looking to play this game, you want to make sure you get either the PS5 or the Series X copy, and not the Xbox One or the PS4. It does not upgrade freely. It doesn't. So I just wanted to make sure I didn't get the Xbox One version, I got the Series X version, so happy- Oh dang, it's actually- Oh, that never, never happens with Gamefly. This one's actually broken, but oh well. Um, I can swap the case out, but I'm really happy to get this game, I actually do really want to play. So, um, I got this on eBay, um, Astria Sending. Um, right now, I don't actually, well at least a week ago, I don't know about right now, but right now I think you get a brand new copy of this for like 20 bucks. And I got a pre-owned copy for 16 bucks on eBay. So I, what it was, it was, the case was destroyed. And right, I don't know if you could see, I taped it up in the back. I think I did a pretty decent job. If you can't see it, that means I did a decent job. It was kind of torn right here too. But for $16, I got Astria Ascending for the PlayStation 5. So I've been eyeing this game a while and I just couldn't get this for a decent price. I know Target, I heard Target had a decent price for this and I just missed out on that. So happy to add that to the collection. So, let me make sure, okay. Uh, the, this was a really good deal. Um, a website, uh, was it Maximum Games? They had a really good sale. It was buy two, get one free. The problem for me is I had a good portion of the game, so there's really no point in me doubling up. But I did find three games, uh, two of them are that I'm really happy. One I'm extremely happy, the one that I was really looking forward to getting. That one I'm happy I ended up uh, adding that to the collection. And that is... Cannot bridge to the spirits. This went down to 20 bucks. 20 for Kenna. And it went down to 20 on GameStop for the PlayStation 5 also. Not only would that have been loose, it doesn't matter because I'm gonna open this anyways, but that one um it sold out immediately. The $20 one sold out immediately. So I'm happy I got this. I got this sealed. Uh every single one of these, it was three games was $20. But you get one free, and that ended up being, each game ended up being $13. So I got this, Kenna, for $13 on the PlayStation 5. That's a really good deal, in my opinion. So, really happy to get this. Um, I think, instead of the Cory, I might end up popping this game next. So, really happy to have that. So, there you go, Kenna. And then the second game I got was Soulstorm Enhanced Edition. So, initially, I was just trying to find a second and third game. They had the Five Nights of Freddy collection. I was thinking about that, but the thing is, I could probably eventually get that for ten to thirteen dollars any time of the day. So I was just trying to get the most out of my value. Um, this one right here, I didn't realize until I started looking into it. Apparently, they sent me the enhanced edition when I when I got the Xbox copy, and this one's worth some money. I, I guess it's just a different copy. It's only exclusive to the Series X. I think the PlayStation 5 has their own version. It's not called an Enhanced Edition. And this one's like a $30 to $40 game and it's selling. They're sold comps for this. So the fact that I got this one for $13, I know the base game is, not, is like only like a $15 to $20 game, but I'm happy. I'm happy to grab that. So for $13, another good price. And this one was the one that I debated probably the most. So I was trying to figure out what game to get. And this one is really the collector in me that ended up picking this one up. Uh, recompile limited edition and the reason is one I needed a third game and out of the all, all the games there was like fighting herds and a couple of but things I already have those those would have been what I would have probably picked up uh, this one there's only like I think there's one like five or seven copies on eBay right now GameStop's completely sold out so I think this is an extremely limited run I don't think it did exceptionally well it looks to be a decent uh, like a kind of like a platformer and it's a steelbook edition for $13 I think later down the road this is probably going to go up in price so like I said this is more like the collector me ended up picking this up because it'll probably go up in price so $13 for each game pretty good really happy I got Kenna <laughs> I was actually trying for a long time it's been out for you know for a decent amount of time and I finally got it so happy to have that in the collection then I got these are two Dreamcast pickups Rippin' Riders, uh, I can't remember how much I paid for this. Um, I think it was like $10, probably 10 or nine, eBay. Most of my Dreamcast retro stuff it usually comes from eBay, or if I randomly find them at the at, at a thrift store. Uh, Tomb Raider, I got this for like 12 bucks, threw an offer and he accepted it. Uh, Last Revelation, the funny thing is I had this game. 
I actually found this at a thrift store a long time ago. Um, I found this and I found Spawn on the Dreamcast. And I sold this copy because I was like, I already have Tomb Raider. And now that I'm like collecting for the Dreamcast and I'm looking more into it, uh, apparently I did not have this. I thought this was on the PlayStation 1. No, I did not have this one. And uh, this is like, I think the fourth game, third game? And I thought it was just like, a, just another port of the other game. So that was a little bit of a fail on my end, but yeah. And so I went ahead and add this back to the collection for 12 bucks. So another two for the Dreamcast. And I think this is my last one. The last pickup is Solar Eclipse for the Saturn. Um, I think I paid like 12, 14 or 15 bucks, uh, something around there. So it actually looks pretty good. It has like a lot of FMV videos and stuff like that. And it looks more like a kind of almost like an Ace Combat style of like in the, you're in space shooting, almost like a Star Wars style game. So another one for my dream, uh, for my Saturn. So I actually had two game, uh, two pickups for the Saturn. Uh, I'll try to put an image here. Um, it was Grid Runner. I got that for 19 bucks for the Saturn, and when he shipped it, shipped it in a bubble mailer, and it was completely destroyed, completely destroyed. So I had to return that. So it would have been two pickups this month, but still pretty good month, and happy to get the games that I found. Um, I do have a couple of more pickups actually. A bunch of GameStop. I have so I have quite a bit. We got more and more just all over the place. I got a few boxes, but I'm missing a couple more orders that are supposed to come in. So I'm gonna do a full video of that separate. So that'll be my next pickup video whenever I get to that. So as soon as I get all the games for that, I'll I'll go ahead and upload that. So thank you for watching. Um, you know. Be sure to subscribe, leave a like, let me know what, what games you guys are looking forward to picking up and stuff like that for this year. Uh, I know I've talked about it before, but I definitely want to start focusing more on the, like the, you know, the, the games, like the collection of games, ports, remakes and stuff like that. So I'm going to slowly start focusing on that. I haven't picked up really anyone this month, but in the next video, hopefully I'll have some. So thanks for watching my video. Uh, later guys.